Hey everybody, Scott with another tool thought. Uh, it is two years now since I've bought the Velocity Rogue 6.0, uh, the big bag there on the left. Uh, quality wise, as I stated in previous videos, to me the quality is right up there with Vito. This thing is two years old. And I've used it every day for two years until recently. There is no tears. The zippers all function. No holes. Nothing broken. And, you know, I'm real happy with the bag. Now, that being said, I'm going to show you some inside stuff. It's a little dusty, but it's still in near brand new condition. Uh, it doesn't get used every day anymore for one reason. It was killing my back. It was 65 pounds fully loaded. The bag weighs 13 empty. Uh, other than that, I would have I, I would still be in this bag. So I decided to start a search for a a new bag. Uh, as I've said, to me, the velocities are superior to the Vito, only for one reason. The configuration and the organization capability of them is better than Vito. Uh, you know, I, I like both bags. As the title suggests, these to me are the kings of the tool bag world. If you know of anything and that's a higher quality, let me know because I'd definitely be interested. So I looked on Vito, or uh, I'm sorry, Velocity's website <clears throat> looking to downsize because the thing was just killing me. And they have a smaller version of this bag. I believe it's the 5.0. I might be wrong, but uh, it was. I looked at the measurements, and it was barely smaller. So I decided to go into the Vito. Now, Velocity has since come out with a bag that I think would suit my needs better. <clears throat> I've reached out to them. They're going to send me one for review. I'm sure it is going to be of superb quality as, you know, the previous bag is. But I had to move into a smaller bag and Vito one because, you know, it was way smaller. I decided to break into two bags. They actually gave me the, I think it's an MB3 or a 5 for buying this. So I'm in two bags. What I have is my general everyday use tools. Everything I use every day. And in here, I've got meters and test equipment and things like that. Uh, it has helped a lot. As I said before, this is 65 pounds loaded. I'm down to 40 pounds, I believe, between the two bags. Uh, I've got things crammed in here tighter than I like. As you can see, not, not very spread out, but it all fits. It does the job. I just, uh, you know, that's all hand tools there. Uh, you spin it around. And there's nowhere to put your impact gun. So I've got crap hanging off the back, which I don't like. But it works for now. It's definitely helped my back. I'm not hurting every day. I used to injure myself just about every day unloading my tool bag in and out of the truck. And this side's got other things I use day to day. If you guys are interested in another tool bag tour, let me know. Uh, I figured I'd wait, load up into the new bag that they send me, that Velocity sends me, and uh, maybe do a tool bag tour then. So anyway, that is the Vito Tech MCT. They're durable as hell. The quality is un undeniable, but I'm telling you, for the organization and the, about the same amount of money, this bag has proven to be every bit as durable. Uh, in this, I've got some test equipment, as I've said before. Sorry about the camera work, guys. And I got a tone generator and just a little fire stick to generate video on things on in customers' houses you know for testing purposes a couple testers there but this has become my tester slash meter bag it's kind of weird 
walking around with two bags. Half the time I don't carry the, the, the MB5, whatever this is, into a client's house, but it's on the truck if I need it, and it has helped my back a lot. Uh, well, let's go over to the shop computer. And uh, this is going to be the bag that I asked them to send me. They said that they would send it. I don't know when. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go back to that. I don't know when, but I look forward to it. Uh, it's about the size of that Tech MCT that I have. It's got uh, the option to carry it with uh, as a backpack, as you can see in this picture here. Uh, I may or may not take those off. Sometimes that's handy when you're carrying a lot of stuff into a client's house. But um, this is the one I'm hoping they'll send me, and I'm hoping it fits my needs, and I'm going to show you why if I can get my mouse to cooperate. So here's the bag. Uh, it's got two sides that fold down. And it's got side, you know, as long as stuff is in a pocket on the outside of the bag, I'm good with it. I just don't like stuff hanging off the bag. So it's got, uh, it's got a, uh, you know, standard setup fold down panel for your main tools on one side. And uh, there's the back side. I'm gonna try and get my meters and everything back in that side. It looks like they got a spot for an iPad. Um, but the one thing that it has that Vito lacks, and I don't know why they haven't tuned into this, is a center compartment right here that you can throw stuff in, which I like. It doesn't need to turn into a bucket, but uh, you know, if you, if you can be organized and throw stuff in the middle there. That's, to me, that's the game changer right there. You know, it's got some nice pebbled leather or faux leather, whatever it is. And uh, I think it's gonna work. So we'll know when they, uh, when they send me one for review. Uh, let's see what the thing weighs. It weighs nine and a half pounds, so you're saving what three and a half pounds, four pounds maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'll let you know how that goes. But uh, this is what I'm in now, guys. Velocity and Veto. To me, they're the kings of the tool bags. Uh, if you guys know of anything that's of higher quality or equal quality. And organize better let me know in the comments and uh, I'll give them a look maybe get get some in for review uh, again opinions are of my own uh, based on my own experiences day to day and uh, I hope everybody's uh, staying safe out there having a good life thanks for watching bye